Good evening. Welcome to Epiphany Lutheran Church in Richmond, Virginia. I'm Kevin Barger, the Director of Music Ministry. This is our Music Minute, where we take a look at our hymns that we'll be using in worship tomorrow, July 10th. My goodness, the summer is just boiling away here. So uh, we're going to go in order today, and we'll start with our gathering hymn, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. We didn't do this too long ago. Uh, the hymn basks in the delight of nature. And it does not include the horrors of nature, like earthquakes and tornadoes and things like that. Um, its writer says, quote, happiness consists not so much in the absence of pain as in the presence of joy. So I think that's just good to keep in our head. Note that the tune sketches back as far as 1797. And although most people know this is from Beethoven, right, of course, uh, but it actually might be related to a theme from Mozart that was tinkled around with before, and it was not intended to be a hymn tune. That was all by accident. And um, oftentimes Beethoven is, uh, appears as the crazed musician, uh, but he was a tireless worker, and he was a craftsperson, and it just is amazing that he never actually heard as we hear with our ears um, what he created, but he heard that all in his head, which is pretty amazing. So this is a somewhat subdued version of Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. Even in a slow, subdued manner, you can hear the joy radiating in that tune. Next, we'll move to our hymn of the day, Lord Whose Love in Humble Service. This is the tune Beach Spring. And this actually comes to us from the Department of Social Welfare of the National Council of Churches in the United States of America. <sighs> Say all that fast. Uh, they invited the Hymn Society of America, and now Canada, to seek out new hymns regarding social welfare. And this was at a conference in Cleveland, Ohio in October 1961 is where it premiered. And there were more than 200 submissions to this ask from the society. And this was one of six submissions out of the 200 to make the cut. The language has been updated in our current hymn book. And so it has been um, more rounded. And the tune, the Beach Spring tune that I mentioned is not what the intended original tune was. I think it was intended to go to Hifferdal. Uh, which is another tune that we know well, but Beach Spring really does fit it quite nicely. So this is Lord Whose Love in Humble Service.
Just a beautiful arrangement. Thanks to my friend Anne Krentz Organ for that wonderful arrangement. Moving on to communion, we are going to do something that's maybe not quite as familiar. Goodness is stronger than evil. We have done it before. Uh, Desmond Tutu actually adapted this text. It comes from St. Paul in the book of Romans, we believe. And of course, um, Desmond Tutu was known for his outspoken opposition to apartheid, and that was uh, part of the main reason for apartheid's downfall. And he always wanted people, all people, to reconcile, as is noted in this hymn. John Bell, you might remember him from a couple weeks ago, where we talked about him uh, in Music Minute, wrote this tune specifically for this text. So we're going to go move over to the organ for this one. Goodness is stronger than evil. So not too bad. Hopefully you'll be able to sing along easily with that tomorrow. And to close things out for tomorrow, we have The Spirit Sends Us Forth to Serve. And the writer of this text wanted a straightforward closing hymn for all the Green Sundays. So we're in the middle of all the Green Sundays now. And he wanted something that energized people, something that empowered the assembly to live the gospel in the week ahead. Uh, you'll note how the hymn starts with a sort of a rocket-like arpeggio at the beginning. And perhaps that's an ample sign of us being propelled into the world uh, as we leave our assembled worship experience here and we go out for the week. So the Spirit sends us forth to serve. serve. 
So thanks for joining us this evening. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something that you didn't know before. If you're joining us in person tomorrow, 8.30 and 10.30 in the sanctuary, and the 10.30 service will be live streamed on our YouTube channel. Thanks again for joining. Have a great evening.